Mel Martin didn't mind being in the spotlight, but he seemed to prefer sharing attention. A gifted multi-instrumentalist capable of unflagging high-velocity tenor saxophonist solos and supple, beautifully articulated soprano sax work, Martin was an essential part of the Bay Area music scene for five decades, but he didn't lend his name to his signature bands. An accomplished composer and imaginative arranger who spearheaded the jazz repertory movement in the Bay Area, Martin was an early jazz presence on the internet, where he provided a wealth of invaluable information to colleagues and fans via instructional videos and interviews with jazz legends. The longtime Novato resident died suddenly of a heart attack on November 17 while working on the computer, according to his daughter Sarah Briendel. Martin was 75. The saxophonist was already a widely respected sideman who had thrived on the Bay Area rock and blues scene when he launched the fusion band Listen in the mid-1970s. Following the lead of Larry Coryell, Miles Davis, and Tony Williams, Many jazz musicians began incorporating influences from rock and funk, and Martin put his own creative spin on the evolving style. Featuring musicians like steel drum master Andy Narrell, guitarist Dave Creamer, and drummers Terry Basio and George Marsh, the band was known for using unusual time signatures and recorded a series of acclaimed albums for Inner City. We had a run there for a few years where we could come up with a genre that hadn't been done before. Martin told me in an interview several years ago. It was by definition new music, and although it was based in rock beats, it was no limits kind of music. By the early 80s, Martin felt that the fusion scene had run its creative course. He decided to devote himself once again to acoustic, straight ahead jazz via bebop and beyond, a repertory band that recorded a series of stellar albums supported by a series of grants from the National Endowment for the Arts. On 1991's Bebop and Beyond plays Thelonious Monk, Blue Moon, Martin created richly textured arrangements rendered with exquisite detail by masters like tenor saxophonist Joe Henderson and the remarkable tuba player Howard Johnson. And 1994's Bebop and Beyond plays Dizzy Gillespie, with pianist George Cables, bassist Jeff Chambers, and, alternating, Donald Bailey and Vince Latino on drums, was the trumpet legend's last studio recording, though the bulk of the trumpet work was handled by Warren Gale, who never sounded better. Martin was often the music director of choice by jazz greats with projects in the Bay Area, and he assembled big bands for Gillespie, McCoy Tyner, and his good friend Benny Carter, whose music he explored on 1994's Mel Martin Plays Benny Carter, in Gia. Carter was a foundational figure in jazz who performed well into his 90s, and after the Altaist's death in 2003 Martin played a key role in the national celebration of his centennial in 2007, performing his music around the country and releasing Just Friends, Jazzed Media, a lovely quintet session Martin recorded with Carter at Yoshi's. The two men shared a passion for music and a lack of interest in blowing their own horns, and when Carter would call for a standard on the bandstand, Martin would tell him, Benny, with all due respect, we want to play your music, he recalled.